Good afternoon. Today I am going to explain you about a portable metal harness tester. There are two types of harness tester. One is a portable type and the other one is a bench type. On a bench type harness tester, when the components are small, we take the components to the harness testing machine. And when the components are big, say maybe a round bar or a flat strip which is very heavy in weight, uh, we take a digital portable metal harness tester. In this digital portable harness tester, it works on a rebound action. So any uh, any round object which is has a diameter of more than 10 millimeters can be uh, we can use this metal harness tester on those instruments. The bigger the size, the better it is for us. For a smaller size, we can on the round components we can put them on a V block and take a reading. So. I'll today now I can explain you this. This is the model which is EPX 300. I'll, I'll just take it to your side and we start from the components one at a time. This is the main main unit. This is the main unit and it has three 1.5 triple A batteries which has four and a half total voltage. Connected to this through a probe, through a cable, is the D-probe. A D-probe is a device which takes the mechanical reading, converts them to electrical. So this is an indenter which has a ball here, which is a ball indenter, 1 by 16th of an inch. So this has a rebound action. Here you can see it yourself. It has a spring inside and it rebounds. So now we close this. This is a spare. Cable. This is a cable which connects the main unit to the D probe. This is a brush to clean the D probe. Very hard, very limited requirement. This is the test block to check and calibrate our instrument. This is the only harness tester which comes with a wireless printer. This is a wireless printer. It has a feed and a power. Feed and a power. And it comes with a rechargeable 7.2 volts lithium battery. This, by having this a wireless printer, it saves on the human error. And also, you get the reading of a one particular product. You can take as many as nine and take a printout of that. This is the charger to this printer. So once you charge this, say for say around four hours, you will from right now you see it's a red button, which means low on battery. And once you charge it, it will be green, and you can take a reading. Say for 200 uh, components so 9 readings for 200 components you can take with one charge now I'll explain you how to use it now once we this is a power on button I'll just switch it on for you this is a power on this is the one with the backlight on and off this is a direction now I'll explain you if you can see this can you just zoom in here please yeah so this is the which is this is a direction switch and you see it here so we can change which particular direction are we using generally we what we use is is, is this direction which is like this the next one is, is the scale please zoom it here the basic scale is hln but in india we need either hrc this is HRB, this is HB which is BHN, this is HV which is Vickers Hardness, this is HSD which is Hard Rubber and this is MPA. MPA is basically for tensile strength. So and this is now for the material. Material codes are different for different, uh, different components. So, 
zero one is iron steel zero two zero three zero four and then after ten it will give you a tensile strength now for these data you can see all the details here also these are mentioned in the user manual as well the next one is we have explained you everything now we will once we use this we'll explain you how to take a printout and how to calibrate so first is our material is iron steel which is material one we change this to material one then the direction of the stylus is vertical let me let me open the cable so that we can visualize it easily i keep it here makes things easier so here is the block and here is the printer i close this box So first is we can now can you just zoom in here please? So it says 782 HLD and plus minus 20 HLD is no problem though we can calibrate also. So we just turn it around so there is no marking here. We will take the reading. Yes. One more. Yeah, I think um, this would be better. Like if we do it here, you, you are able to see a better reading. Yeah. So first, second, third. We can take as many number of readings. We let's take another two more. Four, five. Now, when we need to print. Just switch on the power, though it's on low power, now switch on the power and we switch, we press this button of back and print. Now let's pull this out and try to explain you the details. The first detail is the material which says steel and car steel reading in HLN and reading in HRC. This is the first reading. This is the second reading. This is the third reading, fourth, fifth and so on. The last is the, di the difference between the maximum and the minimum reading in HLN, which is eight and the difference between maximum and minimum reading in HRC, which is 0 0.9. And this is the average reading in HLN, which is 778. Here it is 782. Can just show it here. Here it is. Here it is. If you can read, here it is 782. Yes. And here it is 778. So it is within that limit. And 56.6 is a HRC reading. Now it has written everything is mentioned here, though we have not uh, uh, changed the date and all. It says date, day, date, time. So we have all the data available with us. Now we will also try to give you a further detail all instruments comes with a calibration certificate you can see that this is a calibration certificate traceable to the manufacturing standards in which is free of cost in case you need a calibration uh, certificate traceable to NABL there is an extra charge for this but we can this can be done also now this is the user manual 
which gives you all the details to how it works as i mentioned uh, initially that how the deep, deep rope works and what are the different components of this hardener testing machine so it will give you all the details how to use how to load correctly how to uh, take an impact these are the directions where you need to take the readings and then this is how to calibrate and maintenance this is the basic troubleshooting which could be a problem which can be done and then the conversion scales of hv hb hrc hrp hsd and also this also explains the what are the all components within this here also it gives 0 1 is steel and cast steel 0 2 is alloy tool steel 0 3 is stainless steel so it gives you all the details of the product we want to check the hardness on and then it comes with a warranty card see our, uh, we would want to explain it very clearly all precise make instrument of this hardness tester comes with a one year guarantee guarantee means free of cost repair with parts which mean which means we will bear all the charges till the time no extra it has not been shown to any other uh, workshops also it has not been opened at the end of the actual consumer the main uh, consumables which are required are this cable after certain period of time maybe the indenter and maybe maybe year or two years of use the whole unit of a deep rope so all these spares are always readily stocked with us in case it is required we can always give it to you immediately without any extra time in case we don't have a spare with us we can always pull it out for you from our stocks of the complete hardness tester so that the customer doesn't get affected i hope this video was useful to you and in case of any further queries you can always see our website www.portable-testers.com i'll repeat it's www.portable dash testers.com that is p o r t a p l e dash t e s t e r s dot com for more information also you can see our visiting card